My name is Marco Chanikan and I am the president of the Armenian International Women's Association of New Jersey. March is an extraordinary month for our organization. We celebrate International Women's Day, Women's History Month, and this year the United Nations 63rd Commission on the Status of Women, of which AWA has been a part of since 1994. Armenian women leaders rising. Hashtag. That is the focus of today's event. That is why we're all here today to celebrate women in the rise of governance. Women who grew up under the statue of my highest son over the 28 years have been empowered and have moved forward and have engaged themselves and engaged their community to become the leaders they are today. Empowered by the freedom of the independent republic with courage and determination, they have made monumental strides. Leading up to today, women of Armenia have taken their stand. They have claimed their positions and along with their brothers, Fathers, husbands, partners, friends have created a new Armenia. The cause and the reason that brought us all together today is to highlight once again the importance of women's imp uh, participation, the importance of women's empowerment in politics and in decision making in general. Women in Armenia and Armenian diaspora have invaluable and powerful potential to be agents of change, to, make, to take an active role in politics, and to make decisions that would help their communities, their villages, their cities, their country to become a better place to live. For this potential, however, to grow and flourish, we all need to take steps that would lead to equal opportunities, equal rights and equal freedoms for women. We also need to be vigilant to any discrimination, violence and gender-based inequalities. The valid revolution has dramatically changed both the political and social reality with this regard. It was phenomenal for many different reasons and one of them and one of the most prominent for myself was women's unprecedented active participation. But we are united by the aspiration of building a society where both men and women enjoy equal rights, equal freedoms and equal opportunities. Armenia's Velvet Revolution was unique as a non-violent movement driven by a diverse constituency of the young and old, and the wealthy, and the more impoverished, as well as both first-time demonstrators and experienced activists. This new Armenia as we see today also reflects the power of educated and empowered females in Armenia. It is today's Armenia, however, that I have the honor to represent. As only the latest in a prominent group of impressive Armenian female politicians and parliamentarians, I'm honored to take my place among a new generation of inspiring leaders. And as the first female leader of a parliamentary faction in Armenian history, I also assume the honor and responsibility of government. As we reach out and engage each of our citizens, and as we utilize the expertise and support of our global Armenian diaspora, we hold a unique position as a role model, as an inspiration and motivation for democratic change and civic activism worldwide. And as we focus on gender equality, we will only move faster and further to forge new opportunities and force new openings for Armenia. Our women will be empowered and inspired, and our girls will never be afraid to dream big, aim high, and defend their rights. Thank you for your
and this ongoing 63rd session of the UN Commission on Status of Women, which started last week, has generated unprecedented interest, not only among the UN member states, but also thousands, literally thousands, civil society representatives who surrounding UN premises for the past week. As Prime Minister Pashinyan has mentioned on several occasions, women played an instrumental and decisive role in the revolution. As a result of parliamentary elections held in December last year, uh, women now constitute 25% of the National Assembly of Armenia. So the citizens of Armenia made a phenomenal, monumental step towards making our country a genuinely democratic one, where the rights of every individual are fully protected and respected without any discrimination. And I want to conclude saying that we are happy to observe that there is a strong sense of ownership among fellow diaspora members of what has happened in Armenia. And I am confident that this energy and enthusiasm will be trans translated to generate greater, greater involvement and stronger ties with our motherland. Well, I can't begin to express how wonderful I feel to be here. When we founded the Armenian International Women's Association over 25 years ago, we didn't really know what we were doing. We only knew that we felt there was a need for an organization that was made up of women, run by women. There was no other independent Armenian women's organization in the United States at that time. I am personally excited to be here 25 years later and uh, proud to have all the committee members that uh, who were also believed in the coast and uh, joined uh, Iowa, New Jersey affiliate.